everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is another returns palette unboxing because me and Callum were browsing online and we found a returns palette which contains a double push chair and we have needed one of these ever since we have had Bonnie. At the moment we are using two single push chairs and they are taking up so much room in the car but I was holding off purchasing a new one because I was hoping to find one second hand because the double push chairs we want are two hundred and fifty pounds but luckily I found one inside a palette and the palette is from very.co.uk and I'm hoping if I can sell the other items in the palette it will pay for the push chair now the palette costs 366 pounds including VAT and shipping it's outside so let's go and unbox it this is a palette and it contains items from very.co.uk and one of those is the double push chair. Now we don't normally look at the stock list when we buy palettes because we want the unboxings to be a surprise but because we have been looking for a double push chair we do know what's inside this one but we will still be unboxing it on camera and we just hope the double buggy is in good condition. Callum has just unwrapped the palette and the first item I can see is a double push chair. Now the box does look in good condition so I am hoping this is like our last very returns palette where most of the items were new because if that is new we have saved ourselves a fortune oh, the water's went in my shoe. yeah there's water everywhere oh, I'm gonna have wet socks now I'm so eager to see the condition of this double push chair we have pulled all the bits and pieces out as you can see they are in the back of our car right now and we are going to attempt to put this together Fingers crossed. Callum is nearly there, he's just putting in the seat padding and from what we can see so far it just looks like a straight up return. We can't see any fault or any wear and tear with it but I'll be taking it for a stroll in a minute. I've just taken it for a test walk and I cannot fault it at all. It's a lovely buggy and as you can see there's no stains on it, it doesn't look like it's been used. So yes, the one item we wanted in this palette seems to be okay. So hopefully there'll be some more items in the palette which are okay, which we can sell and we can make our money back and overall get this for free. This Lazy Spa drink holder was inside plastic and I started ripping the plastic and this giant spider came out. <laughs> Look at the size of it. Hello there. <laughs> you are unboxing stuff from now on. <laughs> A few moments later. From what we can see, there's nothing wrong with the Lazy Spa drink holders and these retail at $29.99 but we do have a Lazy Spa so we'll be keeping those. Also in the palette is this Solar Cat and we can't see anything wrong with it. And on the stock list it did say it contains a clutch bag but that clutch bag is brand new and Valentino and I've just looked it up and it retails at £79.99 so hopefully I can get good money for this. Next up is a Batman trike and from what we can see it does look brand new. Callum's now going to attempt to put it together but this is just perfect to give someone for a present so we'll probably keep hold of this because what kid doesn't like Batman? Callum has been defeated, he cannot put it together. There's no instructions either, so I, I, I'm not even going to try because I don't want to damage it in the process. I thought you didn't need instructions. <laughs> so my dad is now coming round to try to put the bike together. The next item in the palette is a AM to PM travel system. We have just pulled all the items out of the box and it does look brand new. Just look at this, a lovely rose gold colour and the handle is leather, really high quality. I'm guessing these are really expensive new. I just found it online and it retails for £399.99p and it's made by Christina Mullian. Can you remember her in the 90s? The name's familiar but the songs... Yeah, she had somebody hit the lights so we can rock a day and night. I think it's something like that. I might have the words wrong, but that was a banging tune in the 90s. And this is a banging push chair. Mm. The next item in the palette is an electric scooter and it looks brand new. The retail of this is £599. And I'm wondering if people are returning these because you're not allowed to use them on the road. I really don't understand why you can't use these, yet the council can hire them out. Because you're not paying tax to use them on the roads. We are pretty sure this is new because all the items are bagged and even the zip ties are still attached. 
but we're going to have to test it so we're going to have to remove those hopefully it doesn't take long to put together and charge but we'll show you if this works at the end of the video the next item is this little tykes first slide now it does look like the box has been opened and resealed but i'm hoping all the parts are there because this would be great in our garden how's it looking good oh no marks on it promising do you think you can put that together without instructions? Not a chance. I know, it looks so hard, doesn't it? As you can see, the slide was easy to put together and it does look brand new because there's no scuff marks on it whatsoever. So this will be going in our garden and my dad's just turned up to put the bike together. The next item is an outdoor wood burner and I was looking on Berry and these sell for £89.99. That smell tells me it's been used. We can see it has surface damage on it, so maybe this is why it was returned. Callum's now going to attempt to put it together, but we could still use it if it works because you can hide the damage because it's on the back. So we'll put it together and see what it looks like. The only fault we can see with this is the surface damage, which is at the back, so you're not really going to see it. We're going to put this in our garden. We are on the last two boxes. This one is a My Babby stroller and this one is a lamp. Will we look at the lamp that's first? A big old lamp. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. We haven't had much luck with lamps in the past though. Yeah, this is a wooden floor lamp. All right, let's crack it open. Oh gosh. Um, I'm not going to touch it because I've got soot in my hands. Oh so. yeah, go in and wash your hands. We think it's new because it has all the items in packaging. So Callum's going to put it together. And Callum doesn't normally like homeware items, but he went, oh, that's really nice. It reminds me of something my mum would buy. Well, if you don't like it once it's together, I'm sure your mum will have it. I'm sure she will. Callum has managed to put the lamp together without instructions. I'm very impressed. And there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it. The last item is a My Babby lightweight Ooh. push chair. Oh, it's pink. Oh, Ooh. that's really nice. Pull it out. Callum's mum asked us yesterday, do we have a spare push chair? It looks quite promising. It does have some marks on it. And it was upside down. Well, I think it was up the bottom. There we go. So let's put it together and see if that'll be a good option for your mum. Callum has put the push chair together and it works completely fine. The only thing is it is quite dirty, but that could be from storage. So overall, we did really well with this palette. We can't let you know today if the scooter works. It is charging really well, but it has to be on charge for 12 hours. So if you head over to my Instagram, I will update you on there. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you soon.